Scooby and the gang were helping Velma's Uncle Ted dig up dinosaur bones. The bones were going to be used for a dinosaur exhibit at the museum. Why, this is hard work, Shaggy said. I'm ready for a snack. Rah, added Scooby. Uncle Ted wanted to show Velma and her friends the bones that had already been found. But when he opened the box, he saw something he did not expect. Oh no, Uncle Ted cried. All the bones are gone. Maybe there's a dinosaur ghost hiding all the bones, Shaggy said. Oh, no, said Scooby. We have to help Uncle Ted find the missing bones, Velma said. He needs them for the exhibit, added Daphne. Let's look for clues, gang, said Fred. Come on, Digger, said Uncle Ted to his dog. You can help us look, too. Shaggy and Scooby looked for clues. They found a truck full of food. Like, it's a good thing we found this truck, Shaggy said. Rah, said Scooby, but they did not find the missing bones. Jinkies, said Velma. Look at all these holes. Somebody has been very busy digging, she said. The gang looked in each hole, but they didn't find the bones. All they found was one big rock. Let's make a fire, said Uncle Ted. We can look for the missing bones in the morning. Uncle Ted cooked hamburgers. Then Scooby and Shaggy roasted marshmallows. Like, I hope the dinosaur ghost does not like marshmallows, Shaggy said. I wonder where Digger is, asked Uncle Ted. Digger! Oh, Digger! Just then, Shaggy heard a noise. Let's go check it out, Velma said. Rook, said Scooby, pointing in horror to the table. Oh no, Daphne cried. The Scooby snacks are gone. Come on, gang, said Fred. We've got to find out who's taking our things. Scooby wanted to find the Scooby snacks. Like, I bet the dinosaur ghost took them, Shaggy said. Let's get to the bottom of this mystery, Velma said. This way, gang, said Fred. The light from the full moon helped Scooby see in the dark. He used his nose to sniff for the Scooby snacks and the bones. It led him to Uncle Ted's dog. Digger was bundled up in a sleeping bag next to a mound of dirt. But there were no Scooby snacks and no bones. Then Scooby got a scent of something. Scooby used his super sense of smell and dug a hole in the dirt a few yards from Digger. Suddenly, Digger jumped up and began digging a big hole near Scooby and Shaggy. Good job, Scoob! Like, I think you found Digger's buried snacks, said Shaggy. There, in Digger's hole, were the Scooby snacks and the dinosaur bones. Scooby, you saved the museum's dinosaur exhibit, Uncle Ted said. Now I just have to talk to Digger about what's okay to bury and what isn't. Scooby-Dooby-Doo, barked Scooby. Scooby.